Uh, obviously, it's the Vegas note. Yeah. I don't exercise for vanity. I exercise to keep my brain sharp so I can keep cognitive working. It's, it's a good way to put it. And, and so muscles, of course. But then, of course, you know, what's, what's the hottest nerve on the planet right now? Uh, obviously, it's the Vegas nerve. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. People are learning about it, et cetera. Uh, and I believe um, that there's, a, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot we still have left to learn about the function of the vagus nerve, okay? Uh, but one of the pieces of information that I think is useful to, to, to digest is the fact that you know, the vagus nerve is a two-way communication street. Um, it is sending information about the state of your abdominal and thoracic organs back to the brain, okay? And it's not just a check-in about how your organs are doing, okay? It's actually driving brain networks. Okay, so uh, a researcher named Julian Thayer, T-H-A-Y-E-R, has really pioneered this by taking a look at um, resonance frequency breathing and other methods of kind of externally uh, stimulating the vagus nerve and seeing how that affects brain network changes, like literally doing this to people in the fMRI machine and showing, yes, when you have interoceptive information coming up the vagus nerve, it is actually shifting the brain's networks into a, surprise, surprise, less reactive, more calm focus configuration. It's goosing up the right areas of the brain that we're trying to uh, gin up uh, through meditation and neurotech and all these things. But it's, uh, the body is in many ways leading the brain just as much as it's taking orders from the brain. Holy cow.